Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and for today's lesson, we're going to get into some percentages. Now, percentages are very important. We see percentages all the time when we go out to eat, we you know, go shopping, you know, we, something's on sale. We want to understand percentages, right? Now, here's a way that you can answer questions involving percentages mentally, right? So this question says, what is 25% of 220? Now, one way to do this is to think of 20, is to take 25% and break it down into different parts. Now, when we're doing percentage problems, 10% is your friend, right? And 10% is an easy amount to find because all it involves is moving the decimal point one space to the left in the number that you're dealing with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out, we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna break 25% down into 10%, another 10%, and then what's left over? 5%. Because 10 plus 10 is 20 and 20 plus 5 is 25, right? So like I said, 10% is your friend. So let's figure out what 10% of 220 is. So all we need to do to know what 10% of any number is, is we identify where the decimal point would be. So there's no decimal point written, but it would be right here. And we essentially slide the decimal point one space to the left. So 10% of 220 is, 20, is 22. So that means we can write 22 under here, right? And also 10% again, it's still 22. It's not gonna change, right? And then we think about this, well, what would 5% be? Well, five is half of 10. So that means that if 10% is 22, 5% should be half of 22. And half of 22 is just 11. So that means that 25% is the sum of these three numbers. So 22 plus 22 is 44, 44 plus 11, is 55. So that means that 25% of 220 is 55. And that's today's lesson.